Most gracious God, we thank you and praise you that you have called women and men to serve in your church. And as we this morning proceed to install your servant, Father John, as the Archdeacon of Gaul, grant us your favor and pour your Holy Spirit upon us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, Christus Vance, Hema Yuge Kama, Tamarella Potion, Karan Naya,
the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news he has sent me to proclaim release to the oppressed to proclaim the year of the lord's favor blessed be god blessed be your name lord and amen amen let us enter into a period of silence and let us recollect the sins that we have committed by thought words and deed and let us prepare our hearts and minds to receive god's forgiveness by confessing our sins before god සියලු බලය ඇති දායවන්ත සමිඳුන් ඔබගේ සියලු පව් සඳහා කමාව හයින් මිදීමද දීමක නිසසේ සකසා ගැනීමට කාලයද චුද්ධාත්මයන්ගේ අනුග්‍රහය සනසලිද ඔබ වෙත දානය කරන සෙක්වා ආමෙන් Peter saw 
स्वामी वहां सब समग वेवा अभी तब दुर्दत याक न्यावे नियुत सिद्ध मु सदा कल जीवत्वन नावु देवियन वहां सर अपके अभिनव गालु अनुनायक लेनिन जॉन मार्शल सर्व प्रकारें पोषण यकर शक्ति मत कर्मिन इवेसिली मत सह निश्चिया कार अवबोधिय किन उबगे सेनग प्रेमिन रक्कबला गनी मटर ओहुन हा समग्रतमतालेंत हा कुशलतावयन उबोहान से गे उबोहान से टपुत क्रीम ट उबोहान से घा शुद्ध हाथ में अनंत समग्र एकत्व ही सदा कल एक देवु जीवत में विमिन पालन या करना उबोहान से गे एकम पुत्र यीशु नामें अपियाक न्याकर्मो समूह आकर्षण के लिए असुन्गन ने The Old Testament lesson is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, reading from verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. For, di for this people, you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe and do according to all of the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe accord to do according to it that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourself, for within three days you will cross over this Jordan and go to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. வாசிக்க வேண்டிய நிருப வாக்கியம் பிலிப்பியருக்கு எழுதின நிருபம் முதலாம் அதிகாரம் மூன்றாம் வசனம் முதல் எட்டாம் வசனம் வரை சுவிசேஷம் உங்களுக்கு அறிவிக்கப்பட்ட நாள் முதல் இதுவரைக்கும் நீங்கள் அதற்கு உடன்பட்டவர்களானபடியால் நான் பண்ணுகிற ஒவ்வொரு விண்ணப்பத்திலும் உங்கள் அனைவருக்காகவும் எப்போதும் சந்தோஷத்தோடே விண்ணப்பம் பண்ணி உங்களில் நட்கிரியையை தொடங்கினவர் அதை இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் நாள் பரியந்தம் முடிய நடத்தி வருவார் என்று நம்பி நான் உங்களை நினைக்கிற போதெல்லாம் என் தேவனை ஸ்தோத்தரிக்கிறேன் என் கட்டுகளிலும் நான் சுவிசேஷத்திற்காக உத்தரவு சொல்லி அதை திடப்படுத்தி வருகிறதிலும் நீங்கள் அனைவரும் எனக்கு அளிக்கப்பட்ட கிருபையில் பங்குள்ளவர்களானதால் உங்களை என் இருதயத்தில் தருத்து கொண்டிருக்கிறபடியினாலே உங்கள் எல்லோரையும் குறித்து நான் இப்படி நினைக்கிறது எனக்கு தகுதியாயிருக்கிறது ஏசு கிறிஸ்துவின் உருக்கமான அன்பிலே உங்கள் எல்லோர் மேலும் எவ்வளவோ வாஞ்சியாயிருக்கிறேன் என்பதற்கு தேவனே எனக்கு சாட்சி இது கடவுளின் திருவார்த்தை
මාට ප්‍රේම කරන්නේ නම් ඔහු මාගේ වචනය රක්ෂා කරන්නේය මාගේ පියාණන් වහන්සේද ඔහුට ප්‍රේම කරන සේක අපි ඔහු ළඟට ඇවිත් ඔහු සමග වාසය කරමු
Let us pray. Give us grace, O oh Lord, not only to hear your word with our ears, but also to receive it into our hearts and to show it forth in our lives for the glory in your great care. Amen. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my text for this induction sermon is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 1, verse 3. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy. It is with a lot of joy that I congratulate you, Father John, as our new Archdeacon of Gaul. You began with me at Christ Church Dehivala as Brother John, then you became Father John, and today you have become Venerable John. I find that when you were working with me, my children were very small. And whenever you come to the vicarage, there was a song that they used to sing. There's a smile on your face, Brother John. And I think your smile ever always there, and that gives you a tremendous amount of good cordiality and relationship with your people. There were many instances, I know, Father, you wanted to go away from the diocese and start your pioneering various ministries in life. There were many instances you came to me and said, I love the diocese, but I want to do this particular project or maybe a new ministry. You know, when you came with me with the green light, I turned it to the red. I blocked you. But today you realize that God has greater plans for you, and that is why he has called you into this place. You, are my, you and Father Adrian were my first trainees, and I know how we trained you according to the Guru Gola system. Adrian was a bachelor who stayed with me in the vicarage, and you were family. So I gave you the mission house at Christ Church, Daivala. But I know that three people at the very beginning learned to preach under my care. And I'm deeply grateful that you have always left a mark and using God's word in those instances. One is you, one is Adrian, and the first sermon of Bishop Dushi was also preached when I was at Christ Church Devil. I'm very proud about all that. We find that uh, we do understand that sometimes we like to do pioneering ministries, but that is not God's will. God had great plans for you when he gave you this responsibility. He always been a very hardworking priest and also made things happen. I know that in uh, the, your main goal was to see that you always give your successor a better, spiritual, dignified parish, and that you have always done it. I know I served in one of your parishes, uh, the Southern Moratua Parish, and I still remember the 1989 annual general meeting, which I started at 8.30 in the morning, and without any interval, I finished off at 10.40 in the night with Father Patrick Fernando, on my side. Very hostile attitude. It grew like that for quite some time. But I must say I'm very proud that it all changed with you. You came into the parish and you got everybody together. They had to get up early in the morning and they had to go with you for prayers. Today as you begin your ministry, we find that it is an awesome task to be an archdeacon. I wish to share with you some important steps that you need to remember. It is much more than what you have been a parish priest. First is, set apart your time for the word of God. I know that you are a Bible-believing man, and I know that you always rely on scriptures, and I know scriptures has become very central in your own life. And Father John and Pat, you have always grown in a very closely knit family life. Deep, deep rooted in spirituality. So you find that uh, you always gave God the first place and began the day. Wherever you went, 
you collected the people early in the morning and they were able to come there for prayers and then go back to their place of work. Secondly, your relationship with clergy and people. You have always been having healthy relationships in all your parishes you have served. It is very important that the archdeacon is approachable, available, and a good listener. Listening means not to do something, not to press the buttons on the mobile, and then see that you keep your ears to that person. Full concentration, full focus must be there. Otherwise, you don't respect the person who is talking to you. You need to make people comfortable in your house or your home. We find that even if they come to meet you, they come with a problem. And sometimes we are dealing with people who are having emotions, feelings, thoughts, and hurts. You need to give time. Thirdly, sometimes if you are unable to uh, take a decision at that time, see that you take time and take time for a permanent decision. You need to see that you give time so that you can ponder upon it, pray about it, and seek wisdom, God's wisdom, before you take a decision. Learn to practice the three F's in your ministerial and archdeaconry life. First is to be fair in your judgments. You know, the archdeacon has to make many, many uh, decisions in life, in parishes, with people, with clergy, and you find you can't make wrong decisions and judgments. You need to listen to the person and see that you are very fair in what you are trying to reach at. Secondly, to be friendly in your relationship. Sometimes you find that the decisions you take has to be fair. It does not mean that you, when you give a decision, that person becomes an enemy to you. He still is a friend. He's a person that you need to care for, and you need to have the friendly attitude in you. Thirdly, to be firm and stick to decisions. Sometimes we change decisions. One day one decision, another day another decision. People lose confidence when we do that. I've always felt in my ministerial life and also as an archdeacon, I've always, felt, I, I've always followed the Cyril Abhinayaka method. Cyril Abhinayaka method means I grew on these shadow at St. Michael's and I find that he was a man who took a lot of time sometimes to make decisions. He's a good listener. But sometimes you ask him, Father, what have you decided? He says, wait a minute, I'll tell you in a, little, a few days' time. And also I learned letter writing from Sri Labinayaka. You know, when you write a letter to him, if he doesn't agree but he needs time for consultation, this is how he writes. Dear so-and-so, I received your letter on such and such a date. Note the contents, you are sincerely Cyril Kalambo. What do you get from that letter? The person has read it. The person has respected my views. But maybe that's it. You feel sometimes decisions has to be like that. To be loving, to be caring, but to be firm in your principles is something you need to follow. Some leaders don't follow these principles all because there is something that creeps into your ministerial life or your archdeaconry life. That's popularity. To me, popularity is a temptation and a sin. We don't need to be popular. We stand for what is right, and we need to stand by that. To do that, a lot of prayer life, sometimes sleepless nights can be there. An effective leader can never be popular. I remember when I was made Archdeacon of Colombo, my neighbor was Bishop Sidin, under whom I served. He was a vicar, I was a server. He called me and told me one thing. He said, you are a fun-loving man, but remember when you are inducted as an Archdeacon, that fun-loving attitude, you need to control a little. You can't be always fun-loving. There are times when you need to be serious about what you say. Respect is something that you have to earn through your words and through your actions. Fourthly, remember as an archdeacon, you are representing the bishop of the diocese. The duties you perform, the decisions you take, must revolve around your archdeacon of Gaul. 
and not at bishop's house kalambo or bishop's office kalambo sometimes you can do manage your affairs and your administration in two ways you can keep on meeting the people and try to resolve the problem that's one way second thing is to send it straight away to bishop's office and ask him to settle it this is not the way our clergy should work the clergy and people need to understand their responsibility relieve the bishop to do his job to do his work as a chief shepherd and not the work than the role of archdeacon it is uh, always when you need his intervention he needs to be kept informed certainly you can do that but everything have to revolve with you and in you and with god and move on fifthly be the same person and see that you allow, don't allow your chair to change your personality never create a distance between you and your people and the clergy give your clergy flexible time to experience new innovations certain new things that you do it may be sometimes clergy will want to try out new ways of worship new ways of uh, doing certain things in the parish but we have to be flexible we need we cannot in any way keep their hands tied but they can try it out but they, you must know what they are doing give them flexibility the framework of the diocese must remain that cannot change they must keep and inform you prior to setting their hands into a new task if people i always tell the clergy if people praise you that's for you if they blame you that's for me even in the parish that i worked i always tell this organization please try out and do it if they scold you if they criticize you i will do that but if they praise you that's for you otherwise people can never ever work with us sixthly in your archdeaconry it is very important to make your interfaith relationship strong you are going into a southern area where you find buddhist hindus and muslims are there in in big measure and you need to form interfaith relationships this does not mean sometimes people do misunderstand that we should not go and mix up with them and start discussing and working with them especially we find the evangelical method is that that is not correct because you show you have to move with people of other faiths i know there were times when i used to go for dargeb openings and vihar openings and when i go there they pass a string i don't touch the string i just only bow that is i respect you but this is not my faith but i participate in that we know that for a long period of time in december we used to have in archdeaconry people the the great leaders of buddhist hindus and muslims coming and participating at a meal interfaith relationships we find that today we are working and we are living in a multi religious multi ethnic country and for you it's going to be very helpful if you go and visit them form a relationship don't allow you to be a stranger to people and leaders of other faiths form close bonds with them and win their confidence i know that when the when there was a changing of faiths there was a bill that was to be passed we all got involved in it and one of the thing that helped us is to look and respect their views and their religion but at the same time to see that we always work together as one team if we wait for certain issues in the country social issues and we go to them only at that time i'm telling you they will not know our minds and we may not know their minds so father john it's going to be a very great task that you have taken upon you and also you need uh, pets support also and the children as you begin this awesome work but i'm sure you are capable of such work and i find that you are a great builder you are wherever you are you have done buildings in great style so i'm sure you will be able to understand what the archdeaconry needs 
you'll be able to harness their potential and to see that you walk with them and see that God's strength will be upon you. Thank you very much for consenting to be our new Archdeacon of God and at the same time that you are God's grace and God's faithfulness and his love will be upon you and your family as you begin your ministry. God bless you. Shall we all stand and uh, affirm a, uh, affirmation of faith, let us declare our faith in God in whatever language you prefer, page 5. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for everyone affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for families that have lost loved ones, families that have lost their financial means, those in isolation, in fear, and affected in many other ways. We pray that God will be with them in a special way and cleanse our nation and world of this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those in our country affected by floods at this moment. We pray that they are able to experience God's mercy and provision during this time and that they are spared from disease and scarcity. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We thank you for the service of our for former Archdeacon of Gaul, Venerable Sunil Ferdinando, and the other Archdeacons who served you before him. We pray for Reverend John Marshall and his family as he undertakes this new role, that he is able to serve you to the best of his ability, and that he will carry out your will in the Archdeaconry of Gaul. We pray for all clergy, lay workers, and people of God in this Archdeaconry, and commit them into your loving hands. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. We pray for our bishops, Bishop Dushanta and Bishop Kirti Siri. We pray for all other archdeacons, clergy, and those who serve you. Help them serve you with a good heart and a pure conscience, that they may accomplish their ministry. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Prayer. We commit unto you all those who are here today and have joined us online. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to gather here for this service of installation amidst restrictions. Help us remember your goodness and faithfulness shown to us as we journey through these troubled times. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. Amen. Bishop Dushanta, we present to you Lenin John Marshall to be instituted and installed as Archdeacon of Gaul.
ඔබවුණු නායක පදවියට කැඳවීම ලබා ඇත දේව වචනය අවබෝධ කරගන්නත් සමූහයට පැහැදිලි කර දෙන්නත් දේශනා කරන්නත් තම සෙනගට කිතු සමිදුන්ගේ විමුක්ති සාධනය ප්‍රකාශ කරන්නත් බැඳී සිටින්නට කැමැත්තෙහිද දේව සභාව තුල පවතින සක්‍රමෙන්තු අනුගමනය කරමින් දෙවි පියාණන්ගේ අනුග්‍රහය තුලින් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ හා සමග දේව ජනතාව සමග කිරීමේ ජීවිතයකට ගෙන ඒමට ඔබ සහායදායකව ක්‍රියා කරන්නේද දෙවි පියාණන්ගේ උපකාරයෙන් මම එසේ කරමි Remember that Christ care is for the whole community and all people everywhere. Will you care for the human family in the Gaul Archdeaconry within and outside the church? Will you work with all who seek the common good of the kingdom? Will you be open to the working of the spirit in your duties? so as to bring liberation and life to all people i will god being my helper and now let us in silence invoke the holy spirit upon us and father john and the archdeacon rio gol and our entire diocese as we commit our lives to god's service
मैं ओंकार देवी दुनी इतिहास है देवी दुनी एलिदरावे देवी दुनी उपवाहन से बाग्यवंतय युगेन युगेत ओबे नोएनस अरमुनु कर्ण कोटगेना ओबट प्रेम करांतत सेवे करांतत जनतावक भी कोट अत्ते उपवाहन से मांगशवत कल आपके सेवक वो मरने मरने अभिभाव बाबने कलावु स्वामीन वो यीशु वाहन से तुला उपवाहन से बाग्यवंते प्रेम या नैवति धाम से वाव अपना पवत्वागे न या है कि वन उपनिषा उन वाहन से के पुनो जीवने हा स्वर्गा रोने तुलिंद चुदात्मानं के प्रदान या तुलिंद उपगे सबावत उपवाहन से के प्राणे हा पिलिवेल दुन्से क मेम दाहम सेवा व पूजक वरुण वरियन दियाकोन वरुण राजगुरु तुमान तुलिन ओब के मेहवरत खंडवी में गने अप्य बुवान से तुति पुदा मुआ ओब बुवान से के शुद्धात मेनन बुवान से तुलिन लेनिन जॉन मार्शल देवगति तुम्हां गालु प्रदेश या उन्नाय को तुम्हां के सेवा व संधा बालु बाल सातु करमिन उपवाहन से के मागपेंड भी मतुला इमे सेवा व इष्ट कीरी में पिनिस उपवाहन से में मागपेंड हुआ मैंने बा आमिन स्वर्गी वैदेशिती नापगी पियाननी उपगी श्रीनामी डे प्रसन्न सावे वा उपगी राज्य पहमीने वा उपगी कहमत स्वर्गे में पुलवे दे टुवे वा अपगे दिन पता बोझने अदा पट प्रधाने कलमेनव अपड़ वर्द करना है कि वैरदी अपि कमा करना क में अपि वैरदी द कमा कल मेनव पाप अवस्था वंता सुवी मटा पटे डनो दी आहां पति नप मुदा गत मेनव मंदराज्य द बाले द महिमेद सदहतम उबवाहन सीगिया आमिन
දේව ජනතාවෙනි ගරු ලෙනින් ජෝන් මාෂල් පියතුමා ගාල්ලේ අනුනායකතුමා හැටියට ආදරයෙන් ගෞරවයෙන් හා කරුණාවෙන් පිළිගන්න
Samidun no be samagai. Nangvanu mena hema dena hadavat. Nangvanu samidu mena hadavat. Devidun samidu te tuti pudamu. Asaha polova meum karuaneni, sielu baleti pianeni, sema vita kadima, sema tena kadima, obada tuti pedima, yogya ya, ya patya priti dayakaya. Esevane sudatpa balin, apa sielu satya karagena yamin, Sielu jati inta subharanchya prakasha kirimata apabala satukara Rajakiya pujaka samuya klesa obavaan seta sevya kirimata apata varam dena bevinya Eseina pehanda suraduta yange ha Agrasuradute anetulu Sielu swargiya senavange Nadea musukaramin Api oba pasasabu Oba gename maime prakashakannu sada O sada mese gayati Shukla 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 mamu Sobalat pihak ini sedar terjadi dan ini sebab ini membawaan separuh sudah benar seka bagi silu di mana karya antulin e paru sudah tve bawaan semini swar giar perkasa kena seka mulai bishwa serbu bagi kejat kaput Yesus Kristus wan seda paru sudah benar seka bagi dewa tve silu deita gembru de pawa heli kerana sedar Sri Lat Sudah Dewi Dunda, Hari Sudah Wana Seka. Oba Wahan Se Pari Sudah Sri Nasema. Oba Samaga Sudah Usaha Bagitwe Vesena Pinisa. Oba Gema Swarupen, Oba Bambawalu Seka. Oba Gyana Panat Kada Kalawita Deepawa. Oba Bat Nuhara, Daya Bada Piyya Kumen Maga Pengu Seka. Mahari Shin Maginda, Viva Stavaha Diversi Maru Maginda. Itihase mat kriya tulinda oba bema tu seka nisi kala pemini vita oba oba gema putunuan magin apa bema tu seka unvan capa seba mini sad bawa ganu sadaha mele ote ote labe apa tule tule oba bema sorupia itu man magin yali panagan ganu sadaha ya yani yesi kami nak tu bema kala seka apa disa tama diu kada kala seka Amin itu rancangan kita ini. Amin. 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 Anetu walla tande maku nandri saliti Ade pittu Sida kukodutu Ide wangi unungal Ide unggalu kaha alika patta en udal Ide en Nine waha sayungal en rar
Unavaron dia pin awal nama, awal kena terit, umur kundan riskuri, awal kalu kau kudut, ide ane warum paru kunggal, ido pudia udan padi kekuria enratam, bahawa mani pukendu, unggalu kahavum, manuk kula manitu kahavum, senda padi hirad, ide paru kumpo dalam, ide neni nini wah. Idai seyunggal entar. वाहन से के मारे ने प्रकाश कर सित मु वाहन से के उत्तान इन दिव्य मु वाहन से के पुनरागमनीय अपेक्षा बिन सित मु and so far we present this bread and cup in communion with your whole church in fellowship with blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints and in union with all creation we celebrate your son's death and victory giving thanks for all that he has done for us and we entreat you most merciful Father that your all Holy Spirit may bless and hallow us, and these your gifts, by life giving power, that they may be for us, the body and blood of your most dearly loved Son, to the end that we, believing in him, may have eternal life. Accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Make us one body in Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be to you, Almighty Father, world without end. Amen. May roti a kavili kiri ben, api krisa swahan sege siru re pangu karwa nwaan ne muda. Katharu dia jibati, Nangal send the Tamil Le Padu Omaga.
Draw near in faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort.
God is gracious. God's mercy is yours forever. Say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer yourselves to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Siyalu nana nuwa naik bawana Dewi Dun ge saamaya Dewi Dun hai tu man ge put Jesu Krisun vahan se pilibanda wa bodhya da Etu man ge maitri premya da ba sitan Sitan hi tabagadu la bewa Siyalu balati Dewi Piyanan ge da पुत्रियां नंगेद, शुद्धात बयां नंगेद आसरी, उबात रदी, सदाकल पावती Say you go.